Hello, Pam Dubois, DMV Real Estate, Dream Real Estate. Today I have with me special guest, Ryan Burns, uh, Stress-Free Solutions here. And Ryan is gonna talk to us about basically moving stress-free, right? Yes, for <laughs> And sure. downsizing stress-free. First, Ryan, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got started. Okay, well, first of all, thanks for having me. Oh, you're very welcome. And, um, Thank you for being here. So, uh, Stress-Free Solutions, we specialize in uh, move management. Okay. So, move management is number one. And it's uh, downsizing, right sizing, and really helping people go from a large home to a smaller home or whatever home may be. Okay. So I got I got started, actually, um, my family in Ohio, there's a, a family farm with barns of stuff and attics and just full, and as, as much as you could possibly think about. And my, um, my great grandfather passed away with dementia when I was about 27 years old. Oh, no. and, and we had no idea where to turn, what to do. Yeah. So my grandmother was the caregiver. Okay. Now her being the caregiver, she um, she's you know so worried about getting him getting him where he needs to be and yeah. taken out of the house and then there's all this stuff to go through, and you know, and yeah. as my career came, you know, I I did a entrepreneurship as an undergrad and got an MBA, okay. and I love startup business, yeah. and I was doing a uh, home care okay. uh, for um uh, you know, out in Washington County for a for a, um an established home care company oh, okay. and I kept on going in and seeing these people with so many needs in the exact same situation I was in because yeah. in home care you bring you know, you bring caregiver into the home and help them live at home yeah. but then what happens when they just physically you're going through these paths and they have too much stuff Yeah. so I put two and two together and found and saw a need and just said okay you know I'm going to dive in yeah. uh, this January will be six years wow good you know, for doing, you doing good stress for you yeah thing. That's a neat way to get started, basically, because you saw that need. That's a great need right mm -hmm. now. I mean, it really is a great need out there and um, what you're doing. So you're basically, um, I mean, in that age group, too, I mean, there's so much stuff and there's so much emotions, basically, with, you know, downsizing, going yeah. from from one to the other, basically, if they're, whether they're going into assisted living or nursing homes or, you know, to live with family or whatever, basically. It's still, you know, it's it's very emotional and very stressful. Mm -hmm. So I can imagine that you deal with a lot of that, yeah. right, in your and business. There, no two clients are ever the same and yeah. no two houses and the family dynamics and what we're trying to do is <clears throat> put them on a path where yeah. um, a lot of times if like today is Here's today, mm -hmm. and then this is the goal. The goal could be three days, three weeks, you know, three years. Yeah, no, but yeah. but along along that way, you don't want to wait for injury or illness to dictate your move, and yeah. then you're not a part of those, those every decision making and all that. You know, really the memories sharing with the family of this is what this stuff is. All of a sudden, you know, you have to get taken out of your house, and you're you're trying to you're you're in rehab, and you're going to be discharged somewhere that may not be home ever again, yeah. or what you call home, and you're yeah. trying to tell the kids, oh. In the attic, and the right behind the corner, there's this stuff, and that was, you know, so it's it's very tough. So when you're putting on a, on a timeline of the goal, mm -hmm. it's step by step. So when we go through that, we're trying to find out, okay, are they going to be selling the house? Yeah. Are they going to be living through that state? That are they going to be living through the house being shown where get, go get out of here? We're going to show the house. Right. And and that part, or is it going to be somewhere where they're going to move first? You yeah. know, with a smaller of what they care about, and then you know the house to clear out. So. Yeah. So what we what we what we have figured out is throughout the process, is um you know it has to go somewhere. It, yeah. does, it doesn't matter if it's going with them, and that's really the main the, the yeah. main thing here. Yeah. But it could be going with the kids. We sell what you don't want. We do yeah. the donations, the junk hauling, and we're really dispersing all the items of where they need to go. Mm -hmm. But always focusing on where their where the new home is through that transition. Where yeah. if it's I just need to go from the second level to the first level mm -hmm. so I can live downstairs. You know, level, bring, yeah. we can just do that within the house okay. or getting them to go where you know if it's a CCRC a continuing care retirement community mm -hmm. if it's an assisted living or is it a 55 plus community or is it just gonna be the in-laws suite on the right. side of the house whatever that may be it's um figuring out what it is and then solving the problem yeah of going okay here's the floor plan mm -hmm. you know we, we do it with needs and wants where you need your bed okay, you need right. you need this you need that you want the china cabinet, you also want the curio cabinet, they both won't fit, so what do you want more? Right. And then trying to play those games, and everything I just said, emotions trump everything. Yeah, it's, yeah. It is very tough to go through, and we go through piece by piece, where uh, we call it the magic wand, okay. where okay. every box, bag, tape, the yeah. dump fee, the, um, the full pack, the full move, and mm -hmm. the unpack, 
So as an interstate mover, we'll, we move people within the state. Mm-hmm. But um, when we unpack, it's packing the picture. It's, yeah. it's putting the dishes back. It's right. it's putting the toothbrush in the toothbrush holder, making the bed. You know, Everything. as far as they want us to take it, we'll yeah. take as little or as much as they want. Yeah. If you want us to come and just grab, you know, take this this old, uh, um, uh, you know, I have an old bed that needs to come out yeah. or, a, or a workout bench that needs to come out. We can do small jobs yeah. or we can do the entire estate and we clear out the barns and okay. we do this and... And everything is um, on that timeline they're going okay. through. Okay. So you pretty much do everything. You don't do um, just like big jobs. You do the small jobs, come in, take little things, mm-hmm. you know, as they need, basically. Yeah. And, and then go and, through the process with them. And um, so, like, because we, you know, we're not, we can't ever be the family. We can yeah. never, you know, the family, you know, sometimes we're, we're a outside help to say, you know, no emotions, have you have you right? tried this? You know, mm-hmm. there's an acronym that's used a lot in organizing as Ohio. Only handled it once. Oh, you know, don't okay. take don't take it that's from the um, the cabinets yeah. to the to the table. You know, and then you have the table, and you're like, I can't even fry an egg now because I took everything out, and it's right. got to go from there into the correct box as as we sort it. Okay. And we use a purpose in place where okay. it has no purpose, okay. it has no place in the new home. Okay. If it has no place because it does not fit, it has no yeah. purpose going. Right. So those type those type of decisions can be made. And sometimes it can be done one on one, or yeah. I have to send ten people, and the whole house has to be cleared because they they waited too long and they're closing now on Friday, right? And the whole house has to be cleared out. So everything is always a custom job for what whatever is needed. Whatever the situation is for the seller, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. That's awesome. That it, that it really is awesome what you do. Um, um, you guys do some selling also. Um, so I guess basically as you're going through it. Uh, and you know what this is really such an emotional topic you know to speak about because um, you know when you have sellers in the situation where they're moving into retirement or moving to their kids or wherever they're moving to it's very very emotional emotional Mm -hmm. you know there's so many things that they're really attached to that they really don't want to part with I'm sure you found that you know kind of going through that and it's just like what do you do you stand back and you just kind of let them you know, kind of detach themselves from it a little bit, you know. Yeah. You've got a hard job. I mean, I think that's really super hard, it's, you know. I have a great team. Yeah. So the the people I've had for you know, four years now and, mm-hmm. and so on, they, they, they understand it. And we've really created a culture of caring. Yeah. So it's, we care about the end result. Yeah. So if, if you care about the end result and how, how it gets done, it's, right. um, you know, it's so important. You, you yeah. can handle the emotional side, but sometimes it's just it's too emotional for them in certain cases of hoarding and things where yeah, you know, they don't want to let go, you, right? You, you can't bring a truck and three people saying we're going to clear out the garage and, yeah. we, and we, you know, a Snickers wrapper stops it, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, good point. So, yeah. in terms of like the selling side, it's um, obviously they're going to take their best stuff, yeah, you know, they want this, the kids want this, we're going to deliver right. to the neighbors what they, what they want, right. and do all these processes. Then I get left with what I call is like the, like it's it's better than donation, but yeah. it's qu- not quite um, you know that that diamond in the rough Time. Okay, you know, from right. a sell. Yeah. So there's you know things where the like wait, so if I go to the, if I take some to the auction and yeah. the auction turns it down, yeah, and I then go, what do you do with it? Then I go to Habitat or Goodwill or or and then they turn it down. Like no one really wants the sleeper sofas. Okay. What am I supposed right. to do with a thousand sleeper sofas? What do you do with it? So I have to either cut the metal out and scrap yeah. the metal, okay. and then it truly has to be discarded in the in the in the dump. Okay. But I you know I can go as far as you know the paper I can I can shred the paper yeah. I can scrap the metal but there's some things like um these these entertainment centers mm-hmm. and like, yeah you know, nobody uses some of those entertainment centers anymore that's like 40 I, years ago yeah. or whatever and right? giving them away for free is almost it, is very, it's impossible yeah, yeah so and there might be someone in, in Iowa that right now that wants that piece yeah but the cost to get them that entertainment center yeah. is not worth on either side so it's um really what, what it is is 90% of the house mm-hmm. you know is um is is not really worth the the true. time as the ten percent right. because the ten percent will have ninety percent of the value. Yeah. So you spend ninety percent of your time on that ten percent. Ten percent. Yeah. And then the other yeah, stuff, just true. because it might be a, you know a broken piece of Tupperware or yeah. whatever that may be, you know, it's always trying to figure out you know what I wish I do with this piece, what should I do with it when really it needs to be what do I care about. So yeah. here's the things that I need. Here's the things that you know. Here's the gold and the thing yeah. and things that have value. And the rest of it, you know, if you spend your time just, you know, it, it almost like um, paralyzes you to, oh, yeah. to to let things go. Yeah. You almost have to do it where, you know, what's most important to be safe and secure for the for the person, right. and then have different levels. Yeah. You know, so it's, yeah, so it can be very tough. Yeah, I just went through that with um, 
with my mom's house and it was it, it was it was very emotional it was probably one of the worst things I've ever had to do you know going through that and just trying to figure out basically you know like you said mm -hmm. the 90 percent and the 10 percent and you know and it's it's hard it's very hard so I just yeah commend you on, on doing that every day all the time for all these it, people it, out there right you don't realize how much work it is until you yeah, get started until you do it yeah. and um and there's so many times where oh my gosh it's we go in situations where like I want it I mm -hmm. want it I want it I want it I want it and they're going into a 900 square foot apartment they so, want everything and they, they want, want everything to, so yeah. you know sometimes they have to do a soft move yeah here's a soft move you know yeah of you're set up and then we have this house with 5,000 square foot of just of stuff stuff yeah and, and everyone's different everyone everyone reacts to it differently yeah and um because what we're doing is if that goal like we we're talking about before yeah if the goal is to have the money in the pocket and this all we're taking care of mm -hmm. we do it from start to finish where we're actually sweeping the house clean three days before walkthrough okay. you know and getting it ready but if they're well I'm gonna give the, the house to the kids every one scenario it's also it's all custom it's all different of, of wow, what they actually wow, need so yeah. when, we, when we sell something we do a, we do a like commission base yeah so if, if I can sell something you know for a hundred dollar table yeah they, they're gonna get it they're gonna get they're gonna get the cut part of that and then okay. the, and, it's, and so on and so forth so if I can't sell something for free mm -hmm. or give it away for free, free then I gotta pay for it the dump right and, and, and I do. and I yeah. don't like I don't like dumping things so mm -hmm. it's it is tough I keep on looking up this up the screen here nice shiny bald head here but, uh, <laughs> Ron can you help us with that please <laughs> I need some powder please thank you <laughs> oh my gosh um, staging you guys do some staging also so I don't like to bring furniture into the house to stage okay, okay. there's some really good stages out there that yeah. you know we have a decorator but we yeah. try to stage with the stuff they already, it's already have. there yeah and it's um it's not usually the look Okay. But we can, but less is more in those situations. So right. we're, you know, we just empty every house, empty every house. But we'll work with it, so then yeah. we might come back and get that later. Right, for sure. right, that's good. Yeah, and then um, basically, yeah, the consignment again. We talked about that um, packing. You do all the packing, basically. Yeah. And then so and so because we can piece piece out what the jobs we do. Yeah. Sometimes it's you know, the family goes. You know, we call it pizza pot roast move. You or, have all these cute no, sayings. I, Those are cute. Ohio, I, I, what was the other one? Uh, <laughs> purpose and place. No, yeah. I mean, they, so like the what I call a pizza pot roast move is when okay. you get a pizza and a okay. pot roast and you okay. say, "Come over and help me." Oh. And then the <laughs> okay. and the family comes over and they're like, and then they'll say, "Yeah, we're going to do all the packing. Yeah. We just need you to move." Okay. And there's an empty bottle of wine. Nothing else gets done. Yeah. And then so <laughs> nothing so, else gets done. So right? then we yeah, have so to fill these gaps in all the time where it's yeah. like, you know, just today we get a call mm -hmm. where it's like, we just want you to move us. Mm -hmm. Just we'll pack everything. Okay. We show up, and the packing wasn't done. Oh So no. then we have to go right into the mode of solve the problem, get them packed because you know. They well, just, wait a minute! They called you to move them, and they, they said were they, take they, care they, of they the said packing. they wanted they said they wanted no packing. So then we have to solve the problem because you know they physically thought they could do it. Yeah. But, but they they, you know, they, they you know that night before they're, they're you know and I'm trying and to tell them lot, I'm yeah. trying to tell them we will take care of all of this yeah. you know but some people want to do you know different pieces of it and we will work with them what they want to do yeah but it's always easier for us just to do everything just and pack it. it and then unpack it. So then, um, all they have to do is just sit and point what they want. What they want. Right. They want to do it themselves, basically. Yeah. A lot of times yeah. they don't want to really part with it because you have a stranger mm -hmm. coming in with all this personal stuff after or so many years, and you know, yeah. it's like. Or, or they were the um, or forty years ago when they moved into the house, they moved themselves. So yeah. they think I can still do it, and a lot of people can. It's, you know, sometimes they have the mental capacity to do it or the mm -hmm. physical capacity, or vice versa, and you know, and right, it's, right, and it becomes tough where just a extra pair of hands yeah just, just to help you along just yeah and it's yeah that let letting go process too is so difficult yeah. you know just kind of letting go and let you guys mm -hmm. come in and take over i think that's that's probably probably one of the hardest things for them after they've been there 40 50 years or whatever right you know? yeah and then and like you know going back to like my 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 family yeah my grandmother sees me as a little kid yeah. I'm a big guy. I, you know, <laughs> she sees me as this little kid. She's like, "You don't know what you're talking about. Right. This, this is my, you know, these, right. these are these are your father's teeth that mm -hmm. I've been saving. You know, whatever that may be. It's That's um, so true. It, it is so true. You know, yeah. So it's uh, it's it's so like I try to use a little bit of humor. I'm singing songs and mm -hmm. and different people have different things. They want to hear the music they liked in yeah. high school when they're going through it, and yeah. it's more of like a reminiscing. And some people they, they waited for injury or illness to dictate it, and yeah. then they don't even get to be a part of the that. conversation, and then. A personal representative or a power of attorney has to make all these decisions for them yeah. and they just inherited a house they need to get cleared out and 
it yeah, takes away that tough. it takes away that personal feel you yeah. know when, when you wait yeah. a little too long to your job is definitely a tough and emotional one i can say that for sure just well, that's why i have this this, <laughs> this bald right, head here no. without the powder <laughs> <laughs> that's why no hair <laughs> yeah i lose it all stressed that's why i take the stress off of the clients and put it on myself <laughs> that's so funny because i was talking you were talking about teeth i was telling my daughter um the other day because i've got this little piece of hair that i've got to stay uh, saved from her first haircut you know yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and I was going to send it. She's like, Mom, I don't want it. And I was like, what am I going to do with uh, that? You know, but well, <laughs> you save crazy things like that. Why, you know? I, why I'm good at this job is because I always go back to the same story. Is that I was walking by the trash can outside at my parents' house. Yeah. And the face mask of my last football game with the mud still on it from high school. I was like, you can't throw this away. Like, why, <laughs> why do I need the face mask? Right. But I was like, you can't throw this away. And I get attached to items as well. well Not as much yeah. as I used to because of this business. And we do. Yeah, we do. We totally do. And I try to tell people... If you can have everything in your neighbor's house yeah. for free, how much of it do you really want? Yeah. You don't want their stuff, right. but you want all your stuff. It's, you're attached to it. So when you're trying to get rid of this stuff and trying to find the top value for it, mm -hmm. your neighbor really doesn't want to come to your yard sale and buy all your stuff. All your you know? stuff and, yeah. and that's the that's the problem we have, we have you know, where I believe that we wouldn't have to make another dresser in this country for 50 right. years. Right. We have plenty of dressers. Right. Sometimes, I mean, really, you can't even give this stuff away. You know, with my situation, basically, I was, like, having the neighbors come in and, like, you know, they wanted stuff in there. They weren't taking anything. They didn't want they, they anything. They wanted to go see the house and yeah. be your nosy see, neighbor. Yeah, see what's in the house, and that was it, <laughs> yeah. basically, you know. Mm -hmm. You also do auctions. Talk, tell us a little bit so about that. So we, we work with auction partners throughout okay. the throughout the area. We're, we're in Frederick, Maryland, and uh, we, we do about four or five countywide. Okay. And um, we work with different auctions and different vendors where we have a person that likes, you know, three different people who likes records. Yeah. We have the people who like the modern men's century. Okay. Then, then a lot of it goes bulk, you know, like the bulk okay. to, um, to auctions that we can't, that we don't have a vendor for okay. or whatever it may be. And then from there, you know, when they're turning down, things you know then you basically yeah. had to figure out what to do with and when you yeah because at least there's at least three box trucks a day coming out of houses oh, really? of stuff yeah and then, yeah and then you find a church that says we'll take stuff yeah and then like then you give them one two three box no more no more stuff <laughs> and, no, right. yeah, and you can just fill them up so quick and yeah it's um you can't really even give it away yeah, sometimes so, so I mean, dispersal so of items stuff. is always yeah. is always a fun yeah fun thing and and you don't want the, the, the client doesn't want they want it to go to a good home mm -hmm. you know and you know, to find that good home that yeah. that this you know box TV that's kind of right. fuzzy it's on the like, corner is, is right. going to go is it, hard is hard to find sometimes. Yeah, but yeah, you don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater. No, you know because you could have something really good like right. You, you know, you have the first edition Wonder you Woman comic. Right. Yeah, like, right. You we never got, know. Yeah, and sometimes we come across these collections like the train collection. Yeah, and we do a specialty auction, and it, we do very well. Where you know I I'll try to get a vendor the highest money I'll get was four grand for the whole collection yeah we'll do a specialty auction and the client will get 11 grand it's just such a big difference yeah you that's know, really good you know, doing different that's really things good. So you're really yeah yeah you're making the money at the same time yeah which is great. I mean what we do is not you know not free mm -hmm. you know it's um there's a lot of work and a lot Involved, of manpower yeah, I'm sure, yeah. so you know sure. so some so some of the things that we sell you know can supplement that supplement mm -hmm. that but um it's um it, it's tough when, when people yeah. have a house full of stuff yeah yeah it's mm -hmm. it's definitely definitely tough um so talk to us uh, i guess about some of the senior living facilities that you guys work with specialty yes. places that you work with yeah so right? a, a lot of the communities like the ccrc which mm -hmm. i said the continuing care retired community mm -hmm. people will go in as um you know independent mm -hmm. living and then they'll work their way as their care or their level that they need increases mm -hmm. so um we will do a lot of things for them where you know Okay. Just we know where the people are going. Yeah. You know, because a lot of people, when they're, you know, the generation that's older yeah. is naturally having to clear the house out because they either pass away or they can't live there safely. Right. And then the baby boomers are wanting to lock that house, that smaller place, and go travel the world. Right. So right. we have two that's generations true. of all trying to go to a lock and leave lifestyle. Yeah. And some you're not going to go from a you know four thousand square foot house to a five thousand square foot house. Right. When you're you know to a smaller home or yeah. you need to you know you're an empty nester or whatever it may right, be so right. we work with communities that um you know they can provide that lifestyle that people are looking for okay okay you do a lot of different things which is great you are yeah, i mean this is yeah. so <laughs> it, great you're like I, uh, it doesn't doesn't turn off yeah <laughs> it, it, uh, <laughs> it doesn't yeah, you know, yeah it's um it's constant where um you rely on the team mm -hmm. you know because you know you you're in situations where 
it's hot. Yeah. It's, you know, there's hot days and you're sweating and you're going through, okay, you know, this, this is broken Tupperware, mm-hmm. you know, and there, or whatever, I'm not saying anything bad about Tupperware, yeah, but, but um, <laughs> this is, you know, this that, is a broken yeah. coffee mug, yeah. you know, and that was my coffee mug that I got at Six right. Flags. Right. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. you know, and you're, and you're, and you're trying to go through that. Yeah. And then it's hard. Then yeah. all of a sudden we get to that one bear mm-hmm. that, you know, we can't go farther, farther in that day because yeah. she, you know, she's. You know, stuck. she's you yeah. know she's ha- she's hugging the bear and crying and and I always joke oh that like gosh, yeah. you know you you got someone crying on this shoulder and you're packing with the other hand yeah you know you're yeah. trying you know and you're you're not just you're Very not just a emotional. mover you know, no you're not you know. oh my gosh God mm-hmm. bless you no. I mean that is just no. yeah one career that's I mean that's really you know. Uh, I, I it's don't enjoyable know though. It's enjoyable because yeah, because you are actually helping so much. Yeah. Most of the yeah. time, at the end, it's you not really a are. it's not a um, handshake. It's a hug. Yeah. You know, of it, course. It's, yeah. it's like oh my gosh, I, you know, I thought you know when you when you came in here, I didn't really need all this work, and you did yeah. all that. I, I couldn't have done it without you. And th- yeah. those are the moments when you're like, man, like the whole crew, like that feels good. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. You, you yeah. can't make everybody happy. Yeah. You know, and but. You, you try your hardest. I mean, right. And, I'm sure and you try more, to way more than a hug. They love you when you're done. Yeah. yeah basically, because I mean, it's just so much. Yeah. yeah. Anything else you want to share with us? That's yeah. Um. So let's say I'm moving. You know, I, I'm not going to be moving for months. Um. Should I go ahead and get my free, no obligation? Yes. Um, so I, yeah, I, consultation I, I, now. I always say start early and start often. Okay. Because in in this process. Um, you don't want to start for me. I hate starting on living areas, the, okay. the kitchen, the living room, the in the bedroom, because mm-hmm. you don't want to bring all that stuff out of the cabinets where the drawers throw up on the floors. And next, right. and next thing you know, you're you're stuck in this, and you can't even fry an egg. Like I said, you yeah. want like I like if you have that storage locker that you're yeah. paying for, get that cleared out because yeah. why have why be paying that right. extra money thing? every month? Do yeah. the basement, do the attic, and do yeah. all those things. So then when it comes time to move, it's move it nice and easy yeah and that would be an ideal situation but yeah. sometimes people you know things happen in life or yeah. you know they sell the house faster than they, than they would and all right. of a sudden they're in that 45 day period of we gotta, we gotta, move, we gotta right? go we gotta yeah, do this now, to go yeah, now. So yeah. it all depends on what they have yeah um and going back to uh can i take care of the packing my own on my own you yeah. know it's like you know does that really help you guys when people do that you know when they pack you, themselves yeah, yeah when they pack themselves i'd prefer to pack yeah um but um it's a what happens is like let's say um let's say they, they pack themselves and they pack mm-hmm. the china cabinet yeah but the china cabinet is no longer going right. so now we got you know four to ten boxes yeah. of china that we have to try to unpack somewhere and it doesn't have a, it doesn't china have a place it's not going. so it has right. no purpose going right. but then you know so then huh. the, so then they, they bring all this extra stuff because they're making the decisions right. and you know and we can't pull anything away from somebody right. but um it's a lot easier when you pack for a purpose yeah. than just to be like Oh, I, of course. Uh, this is all my stuff. I need yeah. to pack it and pack yeah. it. And um, but you can. We 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 literally will do as little as much as you want. We have some clients who don't want the unpacking. Mm-hmm. We have some clients who don't even want the move. They just want the packing. Oh, okay. It, you know, it it all depends on That's what their know. scenario. That's good to know. Yes, yeah, so you'll do. Yeah, depending on the situation, attics, garage, shed, storage locker, basically all those kind of things. You yeah, kind of yeah. do everything to save yeah, we, money in there. I, I was in a house yesterday where you know I'm in the attic and I see a. You know, snake skin, and I, I'm really? not a big snake person. No, yeah, neither. neither but you, yeah. you kind of just, you know, eventually you do it, make enough noise, and they'll, <laughs> and they'll, they'll go away. You uh, hope. Yes, you hope. You hope. <laughs> but I mean, you, we're in these old brick houses and these these stone houses. Yeah. And the windows are open. I mean, you're, oh, yeah, you know, it, it happens. You right. Know? But um, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, one of the good points that you brought yeah. up basically is like once you move, you got all these belongings. It's going to a house now. They've packed up everything, and they go, okay. What if it doesn't all fit in my new home? So, so then I, I try it. I yeah. try my hardest to get them to understand that you got too much. Mm-hmm. Um, but like I was talking about that soft move, like take one truck into your apartment, yeah. see how it all fits, stay there that night, yeah. and then go back if you if you if it's even possible. Yeah. But if you have two trucks showing up for a nine hundred square foot apartment, you right. got too it's much. It's just not gonna work. So then when it comes into the home, next thing you know, we're there till nine o'clock at night. Yeah. Taking it back out. So when I said Ohio only handle it once. Only handle it once. Taking yeah. it into the, going up the elevator into yeah. the community, dropping it off. Doesn't fit. Bring it down the elevator. It's just it's <laughs> right. wasted time and, yeah. and it's hard to do all that, but I mean yeah. 
You say jump and we jump. Yeah, and we, I hear it. Do you it. charge by the hour or do you guys charge by the job? So I charge I charge by the job, I charge by the day, I also charge by the hour. It depends on it depends, depends on, what, on what it what is it's actually. Like, okay. We have some jobs that we're working with the client for two years. Okay. You know, and then that's and then we also have jobs where just I need you for a day or yeah. literally take this old T V and this workbench out. Right. You know. you take everything. So you guys, um, yeah, the staging, the consignment, um, that part of it, um, just uh, putting really, things in consignment. You also really, do some it really, that. yeah. So it, it's a resource for that whatever whatever is needed. Okay. So um, you know, we don't do the hazard material. We can't do the anything goes boom on a box truck where okay. it's like the. the, the I love your stains. <laughs> <laughs> I just pick so these things up from, and I just I don't know I just throw in my head, but. Uh, um, but uh, it's like the, the paints, you know, okay. making sure you call earth911.org and yeah. find out the local drop-off point because it might only be one or two times a year. Yeah, it's a good point for you, you, know, you earth911.com. Yeah, yeah. Really. so okay. you, you drop the stuff off and like mm -hmm. we use, um, we're, we're part of NASM, the okay. National Association of Senior Move Managers. Okay. So it's a network of people with information okay. to be able to help people. So if I, if I can't get to that area, yeah. you know, there's there's probably going to be someone that can help you in some kind of, some way where to they're at. Done, yeah. And then, um. But um, you know, if the paint's hard, I can mm -hmm. take it. But I can't take you know fifty cans of paint. So paint. sometimes we're out there <laughs> trying to harden paint. It just it depends on what they need it. You know. Oh my gosh! But it's you, um, you're amazing. You're amazing. That's <laughs> right. amazing. Uh, uh, what you actually do. So yeah, basically, I mean, organizing, consignment, staging. Packing, junk removal, auctions, you know, mm -hmm. pretty much covered. We're not an auctioneer, but we use we utilize the Use company, yeah, that mm -hmm. actually do that. And then you've got the facilities, basically, that you're connected with. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, Ryan Burns, everybody, he's been awesome. Any information that you need. Um, Want to give out your information? Yeah, so uh, Stress Free Solutions, our uh, phone number is 301-280-0170. And you can go to stressfreedownsizing.com yeah. or stressfreeseniors.com. Yeah. Thank you so much for being with us. It was great. Yeah. And everybody, we'll see you back here next Wednesday at 1.30. Thank you so much for being with us. We're always thankful and grateful that you're here. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.